Well, serving was kind of a family affair for me. Um, my parents um, decided to go into church camp ministry when I was five years old. From the age of five to 18, I grew up in church camp. It was quite a unique upbringing. And I swore I would never work with kids again. And God loves it when we tell him uh, what we're gonna do with our lives. So out of his humor, my first real job, my boss was the uh, volunteer director of an inner city youth group. So from there, he asked me to volunteer, and I did. And the first, after the first night, I really fell in love with the kids, and I kept coming back. You see, it was a challenge for me at the time to volunteer with them because I had just suffered a real personal tragedy. Um, my mom had passed away when I was 18 in an explosion, and I was really mad at God. And I didn't really want to share God. I didn't really want to be around serving God, and I was just kind of mad at Him. Well, through that time of serving in the inner city youth ministry, uh, God really opened my heart to those kids. And one night, as I was taking one uh, young man home, he was about 11 or 12 uh, in Western Heights housing projects, one of the uh, toughest roads within the projects. And right before he got out of the car, uh, he looked back and he said, Miss Corey, do you see that corner over there? He said, that's where my mom used to buy her drugs. And he said it was got really bad for a long time. Our cupboards were empty. Um, it wasn't very good. She was strung out all the time. And he said, but then she got clean. And all of a sudden, everything's been better. There's been food in our cupboards. We've been getting along. He goes, life is just a whole lot better. And before I could say anything, the kid jumps out of the car and says, good night, Miss Corey, <laughs> just like kids do. I cried the whole way home. And I cried because, number one, my ignorance of the situation that, the, that that kid was going through. And number two, God changed my perspective. All this time I had been angry at him for what I feel he had taken away. When in truth, he had given me so much. I never knew a parent that had uh, struggled with addictions. My mom was this epitome of uh, servanthood and Christian values that she passed on to me. And in that moment, I realized I had been so mad about what I felt God taken away that I forgot to be thankful for what he gave me for the 18 years that I had her. God changed my life through serving. Through serving, he healed me by changing my perspective and not being focused on me, but being focused on other people. Fast forward 10 years, I felt I had kind of served my time and I was really wanted to be selfish. I wanted to focus on me and my family, and um, I had a thousand excuses, all really great excuses. Little kids, busy schedule, uh, just couldn't fit it in. I did enough for people to say, hey, she's volunteering and doing what she can. But in truth, if they saw inside, I was slipping away from my relationship with God because I wasn't using the gifts he gave me in order to really serve my purpose. And my purpose went to the wayside. And in doing that, so did my relationship with God. You see, I believe Satan, one of his biggest tools is complacency. When we are focused on serving us and serving our family and our needs, all of a sudden we get drained of the purpose that God really sent us here for. God built you with a unique purpose, this bundle of gifts and talents and abilities, all of that to be used, not just for your life and your family and your needs, but to be really used for his purpose and his kingdom and his family, our brothers and sisters in Christ, and sharing the love of Christ with them. You see, I really believe everyone has a purpose and everyone's gifts and talents. And when, and when you activate them and really pursue that, that you will just feel this natural energy that God gives you when you connect your purpose, your abilities with God's purpose in this world. You know, no matter where you are in your life, God doesn't call us to be sitting on the bench. What God calls us to do is get to active. And then when we do that, God will work in us in order to heal us from whatever we have been doing, or he'll be able to shift our, our perspective to different priorities in our life that will allow us the time uh, to be able to serve him. Wherever you are in your walk of life, what we hope is that you give us the opportunity to ignite you into serving Christ. I guarantee you it has nothing to do with me or nothing to do with what we do here at the church. It has to do with your relationship with God. And when you
you start using gifts, talents, and abilities in order to uh, pair that with God's purpose, you're going to find that God energizes you in this way that makes it addictive to keep going and serving His purpose. Because that's what we're here for. We're made for so much more than just checking in and out of our daily lives. God prepared us for here, for this time, for this place, for this purpose, for a mission that only you can do. Like a thumbprint, like a snowflake, you are unique. And God needs you to serve your unique purpose in this time, in our church and in our community. If we get everyone in our church serving in their way that God made them to serve, we can change our church, we can change our community, and we can affect those areas around us. It's contagious, and we're excited to help you empower uh, to take the first steps in your journey. So that's what we're trying to do here at Central. Uh, we have uh, developed a plan to help people understand, not just feeling warm bodies into positions that need, are needed at the church. Volunteering is great, but what we really want to do is activate people to be servants in order to look at your talents and your gifts and help you plug in to a position within the church or community that fits your needs, that fits your abilities, that fits your personality. Please join us on May 6th from 2 to 5 for our SHAPE class. This class is going to help guide you through learning about your spiritual gifts, your heart, your abilities, your personality, and your experience, how God made you. And then we're going to have a session, uh, 30 minutes at the end of the class from 4.30 to 5 there, um, that where you'll meet with a facilitator that will help pair what you've learned about yourself to positions and opportunities to serve within the church and community. If you'd like to sign up for our SHAPE class, go to centralmethodist.com. I really look forward to seeing you there.